Hi, my name is Anil Nair and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. Continuity. Um, so a function called f of x is continuous at x equals c if this condition is met. The limit as x approaches c of f of x equals f of c. And um, this also implies that the limit as x approaches c from the right of f of x equals the limit as x approaches c from the left of f of x equals f of c. So these three things must be equal to each other. So um, you can write this as a list of things that need to be satisfied. F must be defined at x equals c. So that's pretty much saying there, sh there has to be an f of c. Two, um, the limit as x approaches c of f must exist. That's pretty much saying the limit right here has to exist, or these two right uh, single-handed limits must be equal to each other. And three, these two things must be equal to each other. Um, so, you can have one-sided continuity. So, what we just discussed before is two-sided continuity. So, this is one-sided continuity. And that's, um, you can have right-handed continuity. And you can have left-handed continuity. So, for right-handed continuity, the condition is the limit as x approaches c from the right um, of f of x equals f of c. And left-handed continuity, you need the limit as x approaches c from the left of f of x to equal f of c. So, I'll show you some visual examples of all these. Um, something that's right-handed, or continuous from the right side, example would be this. Um, so this is f of x, and this is c here. Um, as you can see, as we come from the right, the limit approaches the function's value. Um, whereas, if you come from the left, we don't approach the value at C. Show it. Yeah. Here, we're not approaching it. And on this side, we are. Um, opposite would be left-handed, where um, now we have something that looks like this. I have to draw pretty much the same thing, except here we have the closed circle on the left side, not the right side. So now, when we approach from the right side, we don't approach the value of the function at C. But when we approach the left side, we do approach the value of C. So, something that looks continuous on both sides
um, will look like this. So here, coming from the left side, we approach f of c, and coming from the right side, we also approach f of c. Um, so, here's some rules about continuity. Um, a is a constant, and f and g are continuous. At x equals c, then the following are continuous at x equals c. Um, a times f um, so if we multiply by any constant it will still be continuous um, f plus g so if you add continuous functions you get continuous function f times g um, if you multiply continuous functions you get continuous functions and then f divided by g if g of c does not equal zero Oh, 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 oh,